Collagen versus whey, which is better? Whey has been used by athletes for decades now for protein replenishment, muscle building, and recovery. It's the tried and true protein supplement. And collagen is like the new kid on the block. Does it have even better benefits for athletes in muscle recovery? Or is it only better suited for hair and skin? In this video, we're going to do a deep dive into the facts on both these supplements to help you decide which is better suited for you. We'll look at all of the major differences, their absorption rate, their role on muscle building, injury, recovery, and bone density. So you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned until the end. Also, real quick, guys, before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and turn the bell on next to it to stay up to date with new weekly videos. Back in the day, whey used to dominate the supplement aisle. Nowadays, more and more protein supplements have been edging their way onto the shelves, and collagen protein has really been leading this parade. In fact, I made a collagen video that has gotten nearly a million views, which I encourage you to watch after this one. Let's start with the major difference. And before we do so, I've linked below my favorite collagen supplements and whey supplements that you can check out down below in the description. They aren't sponsored links, but affiliate ones to help support the channel if you wish to do so. Now, whey is one of the two main proteins found in milk, the other one being casein. When cheese is made, milk fat coagulates and leaves behind whey. Whey is popular in part because it contains 20 amino acids and all 9 essential amino acids, making it a complete protein source. And remember, essential amino acids can't be made by the body. You must get them from the diet. And collagen, on the other hand, is a fibrous structural protein that is found in humans and basically all mammals. And the word collagen is actually derived from the Greek word for glue. And it's an important building block as well in bones, ligaments, and tendons and muscles. And the first difference is that collagen contains 19 amino acids and 8 essential amino acids. The main aminos that make up collagen are glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, and arginine. And instead of getting it from milk, collagen protein are derived from animal collagen, which means there's no vegan collagen options. Most companies source their collagen from hides and connected tissues of cows. There is marine collagen too, which for the most part is derived from wild cod. And when compared to bovine collagen, it is said to be more bioavailable and it contains type 2 collagen instead of types 1 and 3. And this diagram does a good job representing each type and you can see types 1 and 3 do go together and type 2 is great for cartilage building. Let's talk about absorption. You may have heard that whey protein is absorbed quickly and easily, right? Its absorption rate has been estimated at 10 grams per hour. At this rate, it would take just two hours to fully absorb a 20 gram dose of whey. This is why you can boost the whey absorption way by adding digestive enzymes. Researchers found that consuming whey protein along with certain enzymes can increase amino acid absorption by 127%. But with collagen, hydrolyzed collagen is already broken down and pre-digested so that's when it enters the body it can be easily absorbed and utilized so for absorption rate hydrolyzed collagen definitely wins at faster and more efficient absorption unless of course you take a digestive enzyme with whey so for this one i'll give it a very close tie with that caveat Secondly, for muscle building itself, both whey and collagen helps build muscle after strength training, right? But whey may actually stimulate higher rates of protein synthesis because of a higher concentration of leucine. And we all know what leucine does to mTOR. It stimulates it and it leads to increased muscle synthesis. But what about collagen muscle building? We have data that demonstrate that compared with placebo, collagen peptide supplementation in combination with resistance training further improved body composition by increasing free fat mass, muscle strength, and loss in fat mass. But this is seen more in older adults and the elderly. So for this one, I'll also give it a tie because there's evidence that collagen helps support a positive nitrogen balance in the body better than whey which we can discuss in another video. The third criteria, let's take a look at what, how it compares for injury recovery and muscle relief. Research has found that whey protein does not seem to have favorable effects on circulating inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein. In conclusion, our meta-analysis did not find sufficient evidence that whey and its derivatives elicited 
a beneficial effect in reducing circulating CRP. However, they may significantly reduce CRP among participants with highly supplemental doses or increased baseline CRP levels. But in regards to collagen, on the other hand, you find numerous studies that hydrolyzed collagen reduces both inflammation and pain and speeds up the healing process in conditions such as exercise-induced joint pain, osteoarthritis, tendonitis, Achilles tendinopathy. So for injury recovery and pain relief, the winner goes to collagen, only because of the more evidence-based research behind it. And last criteria for bone density. Studies have found that supplementation of hydrolyzed collagen may also help to prevent age-related bone loss, increase bone formation, and reduce bone degradation, especially in postmenopausal women. This study back in 2018 showed us that intake of specific collagen peptides increased bone mineral density in postmenopausal women with primary age-related reduction of bone mineral density. And while whey protein does not affect the bones in a bad way, it doesn't seem to improve it either. So the winner in this one is collagen. So does that mean collagen is better than whey protein once and for all? You see, both whey protein and hydrolyzed collagen have their own unique benefits. While whey protein may support faster muscle growth than collagen, both actually improve muscle growth and recovery once you look at it physiologically. One other advantage of whey you can make an argument for is it has a high concentration of branched chain amino acids, BCAAs which are going to be valine, leucine, and isoleucine, which has protein anabolic properties, meaning they stimulate muscle growth. It's just that collagen seems to be more effective than whey when it comes to injury recovery and the rebuilding of connective tissues and structures in the body. So keep that in mind depending on where you are at in your journey and what you're trying to achieve. Also guys, a large number of athletes experience bloating, gas, and indigestion from whey-based proteins, which can lead to a lot of flatulence. This makes collagen peptides a better option for those who experience a ton of gas. The only downside with collagen is that it's not as easily obtained from a modern diet as the proteins found in whey. Technically, you can easily find all your essential amino acids in animal products, but with collagen, it is mostly found in the skin, connective tissues, and bones of the animals. Back in the day, it was common for people to use the entire animal and eat plenty of collagen. In some parts of the world, they still do this. But modern day, not many of us are eating these parts of the animal anymore, unless you're Paul Saladino or the liver king, of course. And just another helpful tip, which I think is important to stress as well, is that collagen made from marine sources can trigger a fish and shellfish allergy symptom if you have an allergy to shellfish. And whey protein isn't really ideal for people with dairy or milk allergies since whey is a component of milk, which I know may be already obvious, but I think it's good to mention as well. I'm more curious to hear from you guys though. What are your thoughts on collagen versus whey? Do you like one over the other? Leave them down below. And until then guys, subscribe if you found this video useful and I'll see you on the next one.